Temperature definitely dropped pretty quick on us. <laughs> At least now we're using new muscles, so they're not as tired. Yeah, that's true. One question, do we have the buddy heater with us? We do not. But it's probably 20 degrees colder up here than it is down at the tent. True. And windy up here. There's Honestly, I think tent. downhill is harder on my ankles than it is on my knees. Yeah. But it is kind of hard on my knees a bit. This is probably going to be the hardest part going down like that, right? Yeah. Remember, there's a lot of stairs down below. Yeah, so that'll make it easy. This has got a lot of loose stuff on top of it, too. That's what I try to watch out for, the loose Is stuff. Is what? The loose stuff. Uh, loose rock and sand. Good idea. I'm just sticking in deep. I'm trying to find the easiest way down. Most of the safest one. Well, the safest way down is almost always the way you came up. Yeah. A lot of times people think they found a shortcut. Because what happens sometimes is they're just focused on getting to the very top. And then once they come back down, it's not as exciting because they already made it to their goal. And so they think, oh, I'll just take this shortcut over here. And there's a reason the trail doesn't go that way. But yeah, when you will... Uh, back down. Maybe there was a spot that you didn't look at before. And it's really cool. And then you can see it. So if you're ever gonna do that, you gotta make sure you go back to the trail though to make your way down. Because sometimes what initially looks like an easier way down turns out that there's a cliff that you can't go down. Then sometimes people get panicked and they think, oh well. If I don't try to go down this cliff, it's going to get dark on me. And I did not bring stuff to camp out up here. I don't have a flashlight or a headlamp. I don't have a tent. I don't have an emergency blanket to keep me warm. I didn't bring enough layers. So I better just go down this cliff. And then they fall. It's very bad. You know, if somebody comes looking for you, and you said you were going to go on a trail. Well, they're looking on the trail. So if you go a different way, then they're not looking for you that way. Does that make sense? I wish we did get to see at least one wild animal. Yep. Yeah, even I was hoping it, for some goats. Yeah, I was going to say, even if it wasn't a mountain goat. Yep. Lola really wants to see a bear. And I told her, I want you guys to see a bear too, but only from the car. If we see a bear, I'd hope that we'd be in the car and a little bit higher than it at least. Ooh. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm just fixing that. This last thing went straight down again. Oh. I'd like That's to where we came from, is up there. We're making so much distance so quickly. I know it. 
See, we didn't summit, but we had a good time, didn't we? Better safe than sorry. We just got too late of a storm. And we got some awesome views. We had a good time. You know that if you ever accidentally kick a rock loose and it starts rolling down the mountain, you want to yell rock just in case anybody's down there. So if you look down there, there ain't nothing stopping a rock from rolling for quite a while. Oh, it's snowing. See the snowflakes? What? See the snowflakes coming down on us? Uh -huh. Good thing we're starting to head down anyways. Yep. Imagine if we made it to the summit and it started snowing, and then we had to try to rush down. Yeah. That's what I was saying about people push too hard and then they, they get in a hurry to come down. It's starting to get easier. Yeah. Once we get past this. Yeah, this is a little bit of an obstacle here. Oh. Look at that. We're almost back in the tree line. Yep. Ooh. You okay? Yep. Right. Quick slip. Quick slip. Luckily, my trucking pole hooked onto something and stopped me. Yeah. Thank God for these. Still doing good, dude? Yep. All right. I'm just thinking to myself, how great it's going to be when we make it down. Big step. You get to say that we almost made it to the top of Mount Gilbert. It's pretty incredible. When we get back, I'll have to look up the highest point in each state. We'll be able to see how many states we were taller than. <laughs> I bet you it's about 40 of them. I can say two of them at least. I bet you could guess them. Illinois and Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Kansas is flat, but it's actually got some pretty high points to it. As it gets all the way over to Colorado. True. Probably not quite as high as we were. Oh no, Kansas, maybe 5,000 feet. Yeah. Uh oh, another pole problem. But Illinois is like maybe 600 feet. Hold on a sec. Problem. Okay. These tips are just not happy today. Yeah. I'm just gonna. This is how I find. Uh, make sure they're even. Match these two up. They're both sitting on. Just twist. I think that was the same pole, though. Yeah, now it's getting a lot easier. Yeah. Still good to use the poles, though. It helps to brace yourself as you step down. Yeah. Also, test. It also helps to test if there's loose rock there or something. Yes, sure does. So then you don't step on that and slip. And we're back down into the trees. Hi, trees. It's been a while, hasn't it? Did you notice it's a lot warmer down here? Yeah. Probably I'm still going to keep my coat on. Yeah, I am. You good? Yep. All right. I, I think I just slipped in the same spot she did, but didn't fall. Yeah. How she's like, woo. And just stood there for a second, like. <laughs> yeah, we've already dropped another 500 feet. It's just really uh, inspiring, though. See? To, well, motivating when you tell me that we've gone down 500 feet. In about two minutes. Yeah. Clay Arc in St. Louis, I think, is 660 feet tall. It's right around there. Could be 630, 660, 650, something like that. We can look it up later. But 
think we did about four of that today. So think about that next time we go to St. Louis. Look at the arch and think about four of them stacked on top of each other. Mm -hmm. I remember we used that we used to think the arch was tall yeah. when we lived there. Well, it is tall. Yeah. It's just we just did something way taller. <laughs> if you were to start from the very base of the mountain, the very bottom of it, all the way to the top. Imagine how many times that would be. So yeah. We only did about 2,000 feet, right? Yep. Well, I think we did 2,300. Yeah. Big step down. <laughs> Whew. Remember taking a break around this area? Yeah. yeah. We were taking a lot of breaks around this area. Yeah. Isn't it amazing going back down? We're not winded at all, right? Mm -hmm. These kind of things really just build motivation, though. Do they? Keep going. Yeah. yeah. When you know how quickly you're doing it. Yep. We're at 11,650 now. It was kind of funny watching Titus trying to use his trekking poles earlier when he was just like... I think a lot of times, like you were talking earlier, whenever you tell somebody like, oh yeah, it's another 500 feet, or you're past the hard part, or whatever it might be, kind of motivates them too, you know? Mm -hmm. That uh, that guy back there, he looked like he was pretty tired. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was letting him know that it's snowing up top. So he might be thinking now if he really wants to keep going because he didn't look like he was prepared for snow. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a jacket or anything. I remember when we were like right here and we're like, we're all last there. Yeah. Got a few hundred feet to go. Yep. We're at 11,560 right now. I can hear those volunteers with their chainsaw down there. Yeah. They've been working hard. Yes, they have. Did you see all the tools that they had with them? Mm -hmm. Think about that. They brought those up here. They had to carry all that up here. If I had money with them, I'd probably try to pay them at least a little bit. So, they don't want to be paid. They're volunteers. But, yeah. you can donate money to their organization. That way everybody can enjoy it, right? Oh. The nice thing about this is uh, that once they finish doing it, all they got to do is just do a little bit of maintenance once in a while. Yeah. Well, every year things happen that damage the trail. The trees yeah. fall over. Snow melt causes erosion different ways. True. You okay? Yep. All right. You have an itch? Yeah, just kind of leaky nose. Uh, I said I thought I saw something go across, but I think I just knocked one of those like that. Oh, gotcha. He's a wild man with those trekking poles, folks. These are really durable. Yep. Some of them are made out of aluminum and some of them are carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is lighter. But weaker. But aluminum is a little bit more durable. So the carbon fiber will flex a little bit, but once it gets to a certain point, it'll just snap. The aluminum will bend. So that if I had to choose between a broken trekking pole and a bent trekking pole, I'll take the bent one. Yeah. Not only that, but 
And I probably want to really feel a difference between the two. Because these are still really light. Yeah. When you're doing multiple days hiking, maybe it's... you start to notice because yeah. you got to pick up the trekking pole with every step, too. Yeah. Well, this... we're close to where the volunteers yeah. are. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, about a halfway marker. I think we're halfway. What I mean by that is like halfway from where we left the others, right? Probably about halfway now. Hello. What's going on? Thanks again for you guys' work. I was telling Ezra that maybe we'll come up next time and bring a six pack and a little nice sharpened chainsaw further. blades for you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we stopped pretty far short. You know, we went to about 12,005, but it. Yeah. That's what I always say. My near high point, I like to get about 200 points from other people below the summit and then not summit. Yeah. A lot of different mountains. Yeah. Yeah. It's more enjoyable with like not the crowd around you. Yeah. Well, we're journey versus destination people anyways. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Clouds are starting to get a little sketch up there. It was yeah. snowing yeah. a little, so. Yeah. 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 Way so let's, than everyone else. let's yeah. turn around, dude. Now, just at the bottom of these stairs is where Mama and everybody else are at. Well, I haven't checked the GPS in a minute, so they might have went back down since they knew we were turning around. I'm sure Lola has told Mom how bored she is a bunch of times. I'm not surprised if you and Titus were to, like, playing around with sticks and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's not hard to make fun out of that. Yep. But I just checked the GPS. It says that they're right there. It's only okay. a tenth of a mile away. Okay. And we are back down to 11,200 feet. Okay. So we're like 200 feet away, basically. That's still yeah, more than two too. miles above sea level. Do you know that? Huh. How? How much is a mile? Mile is 5,283 feet. Hey, Daddy, you know what they say about the Incan, uh, the place where the Incans used to live? What? Uh, they call it the Mile High City because it, it's around 5,000, whatever it was. Oh, Denver? No. Oh. Uh, I was talking about the Incan Society. Oh. I'm pretty sure it was actually that high. Yeah, Mexico actually has some very tall places. There's a volcano close to Mexico City. I think it's called uh, Pico de Orizaba. And it's like 17,000 something feet. Hmm. Want to know something interesting? Yes. Uh, so one time there was this guy that lived in Mexico. Do you know what happened? What? Uh, there was an earthquake, and a huge uh, crack formed in his backyard, uh, where then magma started leaking out of it, and then within a few days became about 145 feet tall. Wow. Of a volcano. So they had to evacuate the town. Yeah, I did not know that. Honestly, I don't know about you, but I've really enjoyed uh the hike just me and you. I loved it too, buddy. Every time I accidentally pick one of those, I'm like, making sure it's not still rolling. Yeah, because our family is just down below here. Mm -hmm. Look at that um, stump right there. It looks like a dog stump. I bet if we listen closely, we can probably hear a wild Titus. Right through there. Woo! 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Tyson, I know it's you. I wonder if I scared them at all. Well, you probably scared mom. Because I guarantee she has not taken her eyes off the GPS since we left them. So she knew it was us, but she probably thought you were like falling down the mountain. There they are. Hello. We didn't make it all the way to the top, but we did at least make it a little bit past the tree line. How high did we go, Daddy? Uh, I think 12,260. Oh.